Hello, you are listening to an article from webmobile.com. Webmobile, with a Y, provides quality, people-centered, professional mobile app and web development services with globally competitive pricing. The title is Common Misconceptions About Social Media. Social media increasingly has great impact on our personal lives, and more so for business. Obviously, not everyone is on social media, but a significant number of people are, with more starting to participate as the days go by. There are certain misconceptions that result in less than desirable results on social media platforms that you should watch out for. Ultimately, whether you're an individual or a business, you need to get the best from your social media interactions, and watching out for these pitfalls is a good place to start. 1. Thinking that you need to be on all platforms. There are so many social media platforms, each with its own flavor of what it means to be social. This, however, does not mean that you should sign up with all of them. Unless you have unlimited manpower and resources, this will spread you thin and make you less effective. Like with everything in life and in business, you need to allocate your resources wisely. You need to allocate resources strategically, based on what is likely to produce the optimal and desired results. What you need to do is figure out which social media platforms will be the most effective for your business, and select the few, on which you can make an impact. You need to figure out where your target audience hangs out, and proceed to engage them on those social media platforms. 2. Thinking that all platforms are the same. Do not make the mistake of treating all social media platforms as if they were all oranges, when some are apples or even peaches. They are not the same, even though they share similar characteristics. Each social media platform has a unique atmosphere and culture, for which you have to adapt your interactions. Social media platforms are like cliques in the traditional sense. Even though a diverse range of people and groups participate on the various social media sites, each one has evolved certain etiquette and behaviors that make interaction on each platform unique. This means that you have to adapt posts to suit the culture and atmosphere of the social media platform you are posting on. For example, you should wear appropriate, adapt a post on the same subject for Twitter, differently than if you were posting on Facebook. 3. Thinking that social media is a separate strategy. It is a mistake to think that social media represents a separate strategy from your other marketing efforts. It is not, and should be considered an integral part of your online marketing efforts. Social media should complement other marketing approaches like SEO, video, and content marketing. Ideally, you should be aiming to combine all the other internet marketing efforts with social media and make them work together. Promote your other internet marketing streams in conjunction with social media for greater visibility. 4. Thinking that paid ads are beneath you. It is well and good to get engagement without paying a cent, but it does not hurt to invest a bit of capital in paid ads to improve your engagement on some social media platforms. It is not easy to get great reach without spending some cash. Not everyone has star power that celebrities command. Your list of friends on social media is just not going to cut it for effective marketing outreach. Organic reach on social media platforms is very limited, and will not get you very far. Perhaps you may consider getting paid ads as a short-term strategy, to accelerate your growth on certain social media platforms, whilst you build your following. Initially paying for ads on social media platforms is a great way to get your momentum going. You may also want to consider the paid ads approach as an intermediate to long-term marketing strategy. Even with some organic growth, there is always room for more growth, and that is why you find even big brands continuously pour money into paid advertising. 5. Overposting in the hopes of getting engagement. People or brands who flood my social media streams are nothing more than an annoyance, and if they do it too often, it results in me unfollowing them. I am certain it is the same with you, as well as it is with your target audience. You need to keep your posting levels moderate. You need to avoid posting too much, and aim to provide valuable information in your posts. This can mean the difference between engaging your target audience and alienating them. 6. Ignoring analytics. All social media platforms provide some form of analytics that allow you to have your finger on the pulse of how your social media efforts are performing. Analytics are a vital part of your social media activities that allow you to gauge the performance and effectiveness of your activities and should not be ignored. You place yourself at great disadvantage if you do not pay attention to social media analytics. With analytics, you can visualize the performance of your posts and accordingly make adjustments, as well as decisions to increase your engagement, impact, and results. Avoid them and do better.
These are some of the common misconceptions that might get in the way of your social media performance. If you look out for and avoid these misconceptions, you will be well on your way to better engagement and finding value in your social media activities and ultimately find success on your chosen social media platforms. Want to know when a new blog post is published? Please subscribe. Thank you for listening to the article from webmobile.com. A subscription button is available at the end of each blog post. We would love it and also encourage you to leave your comment at the bottom of the page. Cheers. Hope you listen or read again soon.